So ngayon yung topic natin is about buoyancy. So if an object is immersed in a liquid or floating on its surface, the net vertical force acting on it due to liquid pressure is termed as buoyancy. So nagkakaroon tayo guys ng floating bodies in a liquid because of buoyancy. So for example, meron tayong body in a liquid. Ito yung figure na yan. And this is the liquid surface natin. So kung kuha ko ng strip dito sa body natin. So let's say meron tayong circular area at the top of this strip. And let's say that is differential area. So kung magmultiply tayo ng length of this strip sa differential area, magkakaroon tayo ng differential volume. And meron tayong nag-act dito na net vertical force nga ng differential force. So we recall the formula for computing the pressure P at depth H in a liquid. Kasi yung pressure natin nakadepende sa value of H. Na yung H nga natin mag start yan from the liquid surface downward. So yung formula natin for pressure, yung designation natin is P, is equal to rho GH. So yung rho natin, this is the density of the liquid. G is the acceleration due to gravity. And yung H, this is the elevation from the liquid surface. And that's also equal to, kasi yung density times acceleration due to gravity, that is unit weight then, let's say that's gamma H. So yung differential force natin, this is the net vertical pressure force. And we can also say that yung DF natin, is equal to P2 times differential A minus P1 times differential A. So, galing guys yan dito sa figure natin kasi yung differential force natin uh, equal nga yan sa pressure times area. So, yung P2 and P1, yan yung location of the area from the top of the street and the area naman at the bottom. So, meron tayong elevation of area 1 na yung top surface of this street that is H1 from the surface. And yung H2 naman, ito naman yung elevation of our area at the bottom of the street from the surface. So, meron tayong now for P2 that is unit weight of the liquid times H2 times differential A minus unit weight of the liquid times H1 times differential area. And pwede natin guys isimplify yan. So, pwede natin ilabas yung unit weight of the liquid and the differential area. So, magkaroon tayo now ng unit weight gamma times H2 minus H1 times differential area. And kung mapansin nyo, yung H2 minus H1, that is the length of the strip. Ibig sabihin, H2 minus H1 times differential area, that is the differential volume. So, yung differential force now natin is the unit weight of the liquid times the differential volume. So, para matanggal natin guys yung differential, gagamit tayo ng integral calculus or integration. Meron tayong now na formula for buoyancy or buoyant force na yung designation natin is Vf that is equal to the unit weight of the liquid times volume. So, yung Vf nga is the buoyant force. Hence, we conclude that for a submerged body, the buoyancy force of the liquid is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. And this is called the Archimedes Principle. Yung gamma, this is the unit weight of the liquid, and yung volume, this is the displaced volume, or this is the submerged volume of the object in our liquid. So, for example, uh, mag-resolve tayo sa example problem. So, let's solve from CE board May 2003. So, basahin ko muna yung problem. From the figure shown, the gate is 1 meter wide and is hinged at the bottom of the gate. So, we have three questions. Yung una, compute the hydrostatic force acting on the gate. Number two, compute the location of the center pressure of the gate from the hinge. And number three question, determine the minimum volume of concrete na meron unit weight na 23.6 kN per cubic meter need to keep the gate in a closed position. So this is the figure, meron tayong water na liquid. This is the gate na subjected to water na 2 meters yung depth. And this is the concrete block. So floating siya, so meron tayong buoyancy. So meron tayong pulley. And yung concrete natin connected sa rope, tapos dumaan sa pulley, and connected din sa gate natin. So, meron tayong stopper and hinge. So, first step, uh, we should draw the free body diagram of this figure. So, as you can see, kung rope ito or cable, ibig sabihin yung dinadala ng rope natin or cable is tension force only. Kaya yung free body diagram natin ganito. So, meron tayong tension force lang. So, letter T. So, pag ginat natin, alat yan T. So, meron tayong free body diagram for pulley, for the gate, and for the concrete block. So, for the gate, yung nag lang na force is the hydrostatic force FH and yung tension force na unknown. So, meron tayong hinge and stopper. 
For the pulling naman, uh, walang sinabi na merong friction. So, just assume na smooth yung surface natin sa pulley, kaya equal dito yung tension dito. And for the free body diagram naman, for the concrete block, meron tayong tension force, the weight of the block, and meron nag-act na buoyant force, direction niya is upward, kasi nga pinupush niya yung concrete to float. Yan yung big sabihin ng buoyancy. So first, let's solve the hydrostatic force acting on the gate. So that is FH. So yung formula natin, basically, meron tayong unit weight of the liquid times H bar times area. And that is 9.81 kN per cubic meter times yung H bar. So meron tayong 2 meters. So kalahati nun is 1 meter. And yung air natin is 2 meters na height of the liquid times perpendicular sa screen natin times 1 meter and that is 9.62 kN so this is the hydrostatic force acting on the gate ngayon yung second question we, we should compute also the location of the center pressure of the gate from the hinge so itong location of center pressure dito nakalocate yung hydrostatic force natin so locate natin itong hydrostatic force from the hinge so yung location niya is equal to h halves minus e kasi yung distance between the center of gravity and the center pressure meron tayong eccentricity e so, doon nakalocate guys yung hydrostatic force natin from the center of gravity. Pero yung hinahanap natin is from the hinge. So, kalahati ng gate na 2 meters, yung acting kasi 2 meters lang. So, H over 2 minus E, this is the location of our hydrostatic force from the hinge. So, yung H nga natin, that is 2 meters. So, 2 over 2, that is 1. And meron tayong formula for E, that is the centroidal moment of inertia or IG, all over area times Y bar. Yung Y bar, ginagamit natin yan kung yung gate natin is naka-incline. Pero since na hindi siya naka-incline, naka-vertical lang yung gate natin, uh, yung Y bar natin, that is H bar na. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin. So, 1 minus IG over A times H bar. So, yung IG natin for rectangular, that is BH cube over 12, area is BH, and yung H bar natin is H halves. So, pag sinimplify natin yan, cancel yung B, magka-cancel din yung H. So, meron tayong H squared sa denominator. So, may iiwan is H na lang. And meron tayong uh, 1 over 12 all over 1 half. So, that is 1 over 6. So, pag simplify natin yan, that is 1 minus H over 6. So, yung H natin, that is 2 meters. So, 1 minus 2 over 6. And yung 2 over 6, that is 1 third. And 1 minus 1 third, that is 2 thirds. So, meron tayong location of the center pressure now of the gate from the hinge, that is 2 thirds meter. But, kung i-drawing natin guys yung pressure diagram, that is triangular. So, zero yung pressure at the top and meron tayong pressure at the bottom na uh, gamma H. So, yung location of the hydrostatic force is nakalocate yan kasi sa centroid of this area. And yung centroid of this area, that is one-third from the base of the triangle. Kaya, H over 3. So, babalik din naman tayo sa two-thirds. So, either of the two, pwedeng formula or pwedeng itong pressure diagram. Basta makuha natin guys yung location of that hydrostatic force from the hinge. Ngayon, nakuha na natin guys yung first question and second question. Ngayon, yung kukunin natin is the minimum volume of concrete. So, itong gagamitin natin na free body diagram. But before that, kailangan natin makuha yung value for T. So, para makuha natin guys yung value for T, kukunin natin yung free body diagram of the gate and we will use summation of moment. So, mag-moment tayo about the hinge and equate natin guys sa zero. Or, pwede natin equate yung clockwise moments sa lahat ng counterclockwise moments. So, magkikreate ng clockwise moment is yung hydrostatic force natin, which is FH. And yung moment arm niya about the hinge, that is 2 thirds meter. And yung kikreate naman ng moment na counterclockwise about the hinge is yung letter T lang. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong stopper. Pero walang reaction sa stopper, guys, kasi yung kukunin natin na minimum volume of concrete need to keep the gate in a closed position. So, kahit may stopper dyan o wala, basta as mamintay natin yung position niya. So, wala tayo guys ikakonsider na reaction at stopper. Yung nag-create lang ng moment about the hinge is yung FH lang and yung T natin. So, yung mag-create ng counterclockwise about the hinge is yung letter T na tension. So, yung moment arm niya from the hinge is 0 0.5 meters plus 2 meters, kaya 2 plus 0.5. So, pag simplify natin yan, so meron tayong FH na 9.62 times 2 thirds meter is equal to T times 2.5. So, divide both sides by 2.5 meters. So, meron tayong now na value for T that is 5.232 kilonewtons. And pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video and i-check yung pagkakalikulate ko kung tama yan.
Now, after natin guys masolve yung T, we can solve now the free body diagram for concrete block. So, we will use summation of forces vertical equal to zero. Or equate natin lahat ng patas ng forces sa lahat ng pababa na forces. So, ito yung kukonsider natin guys na free body diagram. So, yung create ng pataas, that is the tension force from the cable or rope plus yung buoyant force and yung pababa, yung weight lang of the concrete. So, meron tayong buoyant force na yung formula niya is the unit weight of the liquid times yung displaced volume or ito yung submerged volume. If this is water, ibig sabihin yung gagamitin natin for unit weight of the liquid, that is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. And yung volume, ito yung hinahanap. So, let's say that is variable V. And weight for the concrete naman, syempre yung gagamitin natin yung unit weight is from concrete then And yung volume, let's say letter V lang. So, yung unit weight of the concrete given is 23.6 kN per cubic meter. So, substitute these values to this equation. So, yung T natin, we can say that that is W minus Vf. So, saka tayo mag-substitute guys ng values. So, yung T natin, that is 5.232 kN. Uh, w is 23.6 kN per cubic meter times V. Minus 9.81 kN per cubic meter times B. So, may tayong common V. So, factor out. And the difference between these values, that is 13.79. And divide both sides by 13.79. May tayong value now for V or the volume of the concrete. That is 0 0.3794. 053662 cubic meters and this now an answer for question number three so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this is the first example problem of our buoyancy so may may susunod pa ako guys na example problem and have a good day